Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of Uwa Wednesdays with your resident gacha nerd, Eli. This week, we're kicking off the complete character lore series that I mentioned in the last video. Today, I'm going to be diving deep into the tragic story of everyone's favorite researcher, Baizai. I chose to start with Baizai because her story and her personality resonates with me on a personal level, and I overall just thought, hmm, she's a really cool character, so let's go with her. To give you guys a little bit of insight into the upload schedule for the next couple of weeks for Wuwa Wednesdays, we are going to have today's Wuwa Wednesday upload, and then as I'm going away on vacation, there is going to be a one week break, and in its place, there's going to be a PAL World update video that Chris will be putting out, and then on July 3rd, Wuwa Wednesdays are going to be back with a bang. So, uh, hopefully that gives you guys a little bit of clarity um and also another thing to mention is that you guys are going to be picking who we do next there is two ways that you guys can do this you can either comment down below who you'd like to see next and then based off popularity we'll pick one from the comments or you can vote on a poll that me and chris are going to put out which is going to have four characters that we really think you guys would like and that we would really like to do um and then we from those two sources we will get our next character um final thing before i get into this is a huge help for this video has been the Wuthering waves wiki which i have linked in the description box below if you guys want to go check it out and explore baizai or explore some other things about wuwa you're more than welcome to do that so grab a straw and get ready to observe the complete and tragic lore of baizai Our understanding of Baizai's story comes from two main sources, character and story quests, and through increasing her intimacy levels. For this video, I will be explaining her story as it unfolds through the intimacy levels. At intimacy level 1, Principle of Simplicity, we learn that Baizai is extremely organized, with a meticulously planned schedule. She spends Monday to Wednesday monitoring the artificial sonaro sphere, and Fridays analyzing remnant frequency bands. Her free time is dedicated to field research, observing remnant biology, and integrating cases. Baizai's colleagues at the academy describe her as cold and hard to approach. She rarely engages in casual conversation or shares her frustrations with the team. She is more often than not seen quietly processing and analyzing data, exuding a cool and collected aura. This makes it difficult for others to connect with her. And this might lead to questions like, why is Baizai so cold? Why does she cherish her research so much? And what secrets is she hiding? In order to answer these questions, we must first trace the origins of where Baizai's thirst for knowledge began. And this takes us to our second intimacy level. Baizai's thirst for knowledge began when she was a young girl. At intimacy level 2, the spear into the vice, we see an 11-year-old Baizai fascinated by a small spear that rolls, demonstrating that transmission of force. This led to her, her to ponder if everything that happens is merely a predictable repetition. Her obsession with such theoretical concepts concerned her parents, as it isolated her from reality and friendships. She joined the Huazu Academy Scientific Expedition Base, setting the stage for the tragedy that would shape her, as we see in Intimacy Level 3. Intimacy Level 3, A Close Encounter, recounts Baizai's fourth year in, during the scientific expedition. Her passion for research had hit its peak, and she was deeply involved in the expedition, closely working together with her teammates. However, during her ninth expedition, a catastrophic event occurred without warning, which we learn about in Intimacy Level 4, infinitely close to zero. This catastrophic event caused the world to collapse, and leading to the loss of her teammates. Despite her disbelief and wishes, Baizai wished for her teammates to wake up. A tacit mark then appeared on her thigh, and a creature appeared, but her teammates never returned. The aftermath of this traumatic event is revealed at Intimacy Level 5, the end point. People interrogated Baizai, trying to pry information out of her however they could, but she remained silent, unable to convey her thoughts. She became even more patient and even more diligent, 
ensuring that all of her work was done meticulously. We can theorize that Baizai isn't inherently cold or blunt. Instead, she simply struggles with severe survivor's guilt from losing her teammates. She isolates herself to avoid triggering memories and to protect others, fearing that being close to her might put them at risk. Her dedication to research is a way to maintain control and meaning amidst the chaos. Overall, Baizai's story is both tragic and tear-jerking. She is personally, I think, misunderstood by those around her and is carrying the guilt of tragedy that wasn't her fault. I'm personally really interested to see how Kuro Games develops her character in the future as she is one of my favorite characters and I would truly, truly, truly love to see more interest in time being given to her as I honestly think that she deserves it. So that is all for By Size Lore. I have given you the complete rundown as we currently have it. And if there comes a time where Crow Games gives more background story to her character or we get any more information on her, I will be sure to make an updated version of this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed and now you know more about Baizai than you did when before you clicked on this video and stay tuned for July 3rd's Wuwa Wednesday. Do not forget to comment down below if I missed anything and especially which character you would like to see next. So that's all I got for you and I'll see you all next time.